Well guys, we're uh, we're back at it again today. We're heading to the river here. One of my favorite little wading spots. Um, hadn't been here in a little while, so always exciting to get down here and do some fishing. Uh, it's just one of those spots where you can literally catch just about anything. So um, one thing I'm going to try to do today, I brought. If you watch any of my videos, um, I'm bringing my trout tackle with me today. So going to be using my ultralight setup um, should be pretty fun I've never I've fished this river my whole life and I've never used like ultralight tackle so I don't know it's just something I wanted to try it's gonna make those 8 10 15 inches feel like absolute giants so should be pretty fun looking forward to doing that so I'll go over the specs of my rod uh, when we get down to the water so you guys stay tuned check out this video all right guys, so the setup I'm gonna be using today, I got my Cabela's All Pro Ultra Light five foot rod here. It's uh, generally I use this for my trout fish fishing rig, but I thought it'd be fun to try it out here on the river. It's, uh, it's gonna be equipped with this Cabela's reel and I got it lined up with six pound test. So I think that should be plenty. I've caught some bigger trout with this and not had any issues. So we'll see how it does in the river here probably gonna start out with this green and gold blade spinner today with a swivel to help hopefully keep out some line twist so all right let's see if we can't get us one or two super shallow today to find a deep channel here see if we can't pull one out of it I know they got to be in here it is still kind of early. They ain't moved to the shallows yet. Oh, just had a hit on that. There's one. Yeah. Oh, got off right at my feet. That's a fun little fight though on this ultra light rod. I didn't set the hook good though. All right, let's see if there's another one in there. That fish look like about a 10 inch small male. Oh, buddy's got one up here, begging. Fifteen incher. Heck yeah. It's crazy. Get over here in this deep water and you find fish. We just walked through about waist deep water to get over here. There's a deep channel over here. So I'm assuming all these fish are laying in it. Uh, there's gonna be one laying right over here, I think. Had a little one come up and swipe at it. I could get into a big. Yeah. I could get into a big walleye. Usually when I walk up this way, I usually catch one, but who knows? Oh, here's one. Feels like a good one, but like I said, it's hard to tell on this ultralight. <laughs> hmm. Little old dinker. Probably about six, seven inches. Fun though. Alright, let's get us another one here. Well, I didn't even have time to turn on the camera. I literally was picking my rod out of the water and this thing shot up and got it.
a little old small mound, probably about six, seven inches. I just changed, put this orange and green grub on. That was my first cast with it. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll catch one or two here. I'd like to catch about a 15 incher just to see what it'd feel like on this ultra light rod. Probably about jerk it out of my hand. Even grass feels like a fish. It's weird. Never fished with this ultra light stuff in the river. Oh. Oh. Airborne twice. I don't know how he didn't spit the hook right there. He's ripping. I think he thinks he's bigger than what he is. Dang, he engulfed that thing. Oh! Well, it's gonna hold him up, but spine fin got me. I think it was probably about 9, 10 inches. Pretty good little fight though. Yeah, pull another one out of this hole. I think that was number four for me today. Oh, there's one. A little old dink. Number five. One thing I want to mention, um, me personally, when I walk up on one of these holes that I fully expect to catch fish in, the best spot I feel like is going to be right here. But I kind of like to start right here on this side and just work my way over until I cover the whole thing. So that's just something I like to do. Seems to work out okay for me. Sometimes anyways. Oh, there's one. Rickman, ripping. A little bit better one. Biggest one I caught today. It's probably 11 or 12. Nah, I ain't that big. Maybe a 10. Ah. If you can see that, he's got part of a crawdad claw in his mouth there. He's been eating some crawdads. Pretty cool. Yep. Just got a walleye right here. 
I figured we'd catch one up here in this hole. Just pulled three bass out of here and here's a walleye. See if I can get him without getting stabbed here. There he is. That's a pretty decent one. That's a decent one. Yeah. He's probably 15 inches. Yeah. Look at them things' teeth. It's pretty cool. It's been a while since I caught a walleye. Well, since last year, I guess. All right, we're gonna let him go. There he goes. Trying to get away. Oh, there's one. Right at my feet. Well, I want to get the pliers for this one. There it is. All right. Oh, there's a good one. Thought I was in some grass. We the best one of the day, I believe. Get a little fight on this ultralight. Probably about a 11, 12 inch. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, that's probably going to wrap up this video. It's getting dark on us. Overall, pretty awesome day. I probably caught 12, 13, 14 fish. I don't know. Got into a bunch today. Um, they was hitting just a little bit of everything between spinners and grubs and different all kinds of colors of grubs. So they didn't really single out one particular thing but i did catch that walleye which was pretty awesome um like i said it was probably about 15 16 inches something like that but the rest of the bass they were pretty small but on this ultralight reel and setup it's pretty fun fishing i did notice that um when you get tangled up it's you pretty much going to lose your lure so i don't know i'll probably do it again like i said it was pretty fun something different to try out but Anyways, guys, if you liked this video, please just do me a huge favor. Hit that like, subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.